So in my quest for budget uh, focused videography, photography, uh, accessories and things like that, I actually was reached out to by uh, this company here, Each Shot, and uh, they, they have a new smartphone video microphone kit that they wanted me to check out and I told them yeah sure I'll check it out give you a review so here's this is just going to be an unboxing of this entire kit and everything that you actually see here is what comes apparently in this kit I have not opened this yet so let's begin so okay so they've got Facebook page email address it here and uh, they're from Shenzhen China which is basically China's equivalent of Silicon Valley California it's the technology epicenter of China it's actually where Godox products are made and oh okay it actually comes with a microphone oh. and this is actually all metal it's going to be interesting to check out how this actually goes. Let's see here. We've got a little tripod. Okay, I guess you can add an attachment there. And let's see. Now, can this actually screw into another tripod? If you want like more height. Oh, it is threaded. What? Okay, and it's got nice little rubber feet here as well. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, okay, that works, that works. And it should also come with a light, which I think is what this is. Let's see here. Oh, whoops, yeah, super sticky. All right, well, let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, looks like it is uh, by color here. Let's see on the back. Yeah, this actually seems pretty good. It's got USB. Okay, USB C for charging. Let's see. Push in to power on. Oh, perfect. Oh. Okay. You've got battery level light output percentage and the color temperature wow this is actually pretty bright let's uh let's turn the brightness down see if we can oh man you can go all the way down to zero wow okay one percent so you can see the dual color elements there and let's uh change the color temperature and see what happens I do find the knob is a tad bit on the sticky side and it doesn't really protrude far enough out. It's pretty, I mean, it, it's not flush, but I think that could be a bit better. But given the fact that this whole kit is less than $100 Canadian, it's a very, I'm, I'm nitpicking at this point. I mean, for what it actually has, and okay. So as the temperature, I'm at 3400K right now. Uh, 2800K is pretty much tungsten or yellow and uh, let's go up here and you can see the LEDs changing until the tungsten ones are gone and we're at 8500K. It's interesting. So let's go down to maybe about, what 5500 is generally white. It's weird because in the automotive industry they say 4300 is actually closer to daylight. It's interesting. It's interesting how these uh, different companies have different variations of what actual daylight sun temp or uh, color temperature actually would be. All right, so let's uh, actually. See how bright this actually goes. Let's crank it up to 100. Wow, okay. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bright. Just to give you an idea, I'm gonna turn off my main light here. So that's just with uh, 
tiny, tiny window with a bit of sunlight coming in. And now this is with just this LED light. Oh man, that is really bright. That is actually, actually pretty good. It's nice. Let's see what the difference in color temperature actually does here. So you just push in to change modes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that actually does make a big difference. Let's go all the way to 80. Okay. Yeah, that's way blue. Okay. So let's do 56. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, it's a little on. Yeah, about 5,600 K. Okay. So this is actually pretty good. So yeah, well, let me turn my main light back on here. Okay, so basically push and it changes the modes as you can see here. And then you just twist to make your adjustments. And yeah, it's not a very, very smooth button to be honest, uh, or smooth dial. It does seem to get caught in some aspects, not sure why, but it does do the job and I guess press and hold to turn off and that's the light and it is threaded at the bottom. It's got a hot shoe mount so you can mount it directly on the camera or you can mount it onto a light stand or even on another tripod or on their own tripod. I'm sure this actually underneath all this probably has a, a, an actual mounting kit. So let's continue to open it up. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So here's the piece for the microphone. Let's get a bit of contrast here. So here's the piece for the microphone, which I'm guessing slips right into this little ridge here. You know, sometimes you should look at the instructions, but I think I got it. Okay, so that's now it's a matter of which way is the right way. Okay, yeah, I think it only goes one way, which would be this way. Actually, yeah, pretty sure it's like that. All right, and it's threaded on the bottom of this as well, and also has the hot shoe mount. Let's see, what is this? More stuff to open. What is this? Oh, look. I mean, the actual box packaging isn't the greatest, but I'd rather pay for the product itself than pay for the packaging and have an inferior product. So let's see here. So this is the TRS camera cable for this. Hmm. Interesting. It's pretty, uh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, just plug it in and then plug it into the camera, but I'm not going to get into that right now. That's going to be in another video. Okay. And then here's, uh, Lightning cable for iPhone. You can see that edge there. And this would plug into the microphone. This would plug into your iPhone, which I'm not going to do. Oh, it also came with an outdoor wind muff. Outdoor wind muff dead cat. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Comes with two. Huh. It actually came with uh, two microphone holders. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's this? There's more. There's more. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Okay. And okay. So here's the USB C charging cable. The Velcro strap to recharge the light. Just pop that part in there and then that 
obviously goes into a USB or a uh, power bar or not power bar. Uh, one of the power thing. I can't think right now. It's been a long day already. Portable power bank. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And then here's the, oh wow. This is actually much nicer than I thought it was going to be. So this is the phone holder. Wow, this is actually, it's got like a rubberized texture on it and it's threaded at the bottom as well. This is really nice actually, wow. Uh, can, okay, so lock, unlock, it's got a little symbol. It's got little symbols here. Let me use the light, show ya. Hopefully you can pick it up, there we go. So it's got a unlock and lock symbol. So, hmm. The only thing is I can't get it to turn. It seems like it's locked. Oh, unless they're just talking about the rotation. Okay, let's see here. Unlock. No. Lock. Okay. Okay, I see what they're, okay, I get it now. That's what they're talking about. So it's just a screw on this side. So they're talking about the rotation of this, whether like to lock it or unlock it. That's what they mean. And this actually has a rubber gasket right in here. It's actually, uh, this is surprisingly weighty. <laughs> actually nice and it's got a hot shoe mount right here as well. So you can actually mount the shotgun mic right to the top there. Have the phone going across here. It's actually pretty nice. It's interesting. It's a different, uh, different design than what I'm used to. You can have the mic off to the side with the phone in portrait, which I would not be doing. I would actually, I can't, no, that's too much. Yeah, I wish this, okay, there, now I can adjust it a little bit. Okay, there we go. And the bottom here is threaded as well. It's got a pretty good, okay, it's dual clamp. Yeah, okay. So actually it can accommodate a pretty wide phone. That's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to check this out. And then this would go on the tripod, like so. And that would pretty much be it. Oh, what's this? Ah, okay. Silicone cover for the light. Nice. So yeah, that would just sit on the tripod. And you got your mic here. Ah, and the light also has a cutout for a hot shoe. So you'd have the light on top of the camera. There we go. This will be interesting. It'll be interesting to check this out. I wonder how much light this actually cuts out. It does fit. It does fit pretty good actually, to a certain degree. It does cover it. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's actually any good. Oh yeah, that's not bad. I'm holding it right above my actual phone here. That's actually not bad at all. Yeah. It's actually not bad. It's at 100% light. But that actually does work. That's not bad. So anyway, that is the complete unboxing of this wonderful each shot YouTube TikTok IGTV Zoom smartphone video microphone kit. It seems to be a pretty decent all-in-one package. Next video is about this product itself, is going to be all about how does it actually function when you're using it.